Looks like we've got another mystery on our hands. But Dad! Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh, absolutely no mystery solving. We've got one heck of a monster here. I smell tourists, t-shirts, concerts, tchotchkes. In. But, Dad, we can help. You can help by not flunking civics. I'll drive you back to school. <laughs> Time for dessert. Like mine bringing me back some, too? Okie dokie. Oops. I said like again, didn't I? Oh, boy, I'm sorry. I just can't help it. Here, put this rubber band around your wrist. Every time you say the word like, snap it. Hard. Um, but that will hurt. That's the point. Here, pick out a new pair of pants. What's wrong with my pants? You promised me you were going to start caring more about your appearance. But I like these pants. You've worn them since the eighth grade. They're comfortable pants. Fine. I'll pick them out for you myself. Like, what is wrong with her? Oops. Ow! I wonder which one is my tutor. Me too. Fred Jones Jr. Huh? Huh? Down here. I'm Marianne Gleardon, your tutor. You? You're the brilliant senior? I have an IQ of 195. I should actually be in college. But my parents want me to spend a few weeks in high school to help develop social skills. <coughs> so you're pretty good at civics, huh? It's my passion. That's how I met your father, the mayor. I asked to be appointed to the city council. I have some brilliant ideas on how to run the city more efficiently. He said I was too young. <coughs> Come, Frederick. We have a lot of work to do. Oh. Have a good time, Frederick. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it's my fault. I was not looking where my eyes were going. You're that new exchange teacher. Yes, Dr. Luis de Portillo. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must prepare my lecture on South American indigenous mythology. Oh, Dr. Portillo, your book. That is none of your business. Looks like the creepy flute player struck again last night. How do you like your new pants? Um, they're a little tight. That's the style. You look great. I sort of feel like a sausage. More parents are leaving. At this rate, Crystal Cove will be a town of nothing but spookified kids. Hey, what's with the pants? <laughs> <laughs> This is the location of the most recent attack by the creature that's been spookifying the children of Crystal Cove. Vilma, sweetheart, how are you? Sheriff, they're back! Mom, please! We just wanted to see what was happening. There's nothing to see. Not unless you're paying. Now get to school, darling. All of you! Be an angel and take one of these and wear it around school. Oh, and if anyone asks, they're $15. We've got to find out what this thing is and where it comes from. And I think I know who can help. Hey, how much is... 15 Dr. Portillo? Hmm, he must be teaching a class. Like, what kind of stuff does this dude teach anyway? Oops. Ow! <laughs> What are you doing in my office of personal private space? Dr. Portillo, it's important that we talk to you. Do you recognize this creature? Yes. It is... Que horrifico. Who's... Que horrifico? <laughs> 